Hi, uh, my name's Lauren, I'm 31 and I work for Youth for Christ and I live in Leicestershire. I'm just going to tell you a little story about what God's done in my life. Um, I got married when I was 21 um, to a great man called James and we were very much in love, very happy um, and everything was great. And we thought, well, we'll have some children to, um, to share the love that we've got for each other. Well, we went about it in the way that you normally do and 12 months later, uh, nothing happened. I was 23, so very young, um, no reason why I shouldn't have any children. And um, I remember one day at church on a, a Sunday morning and they interviewed a pregnant lady at the front of church and it was all about Advent and um, about kind of Mary expecting Jesus and how kind of she felt as a pregnant woman and it was horrendous for me. Um, I just I had an awful day and broke down and cried and it was just a horrendous day. And later that evening at church, um, a different church that I went to in the evening, um, and my friend had no idea that this had gone on. And she came to me and she said, I really feel that God uh, has got a promise for you and I want to share it with you. And this was kind of totally out of the blue and I was like, what, what's this? And basically God had a promise for me and, and for my husband. And it was uh, the 6th of December, 2006. And God said, I know the child. God said uh, through this lady, she said, I know the child's name, I know the child, and I know the child's year of birth. And it's in my time, not yours. And the last bit of the, the promise was uh, from God was to enjoy one another. So we were kind of like blown away, loads of tears, kind of what, what is this? So we went away and kind of explored what that might mean. Did, did we really think this was God speaking to us? And we felt sure that it was a promise from God. So we, um, well, we did what he said, we enjoyed one another, we started ballroom dancing, we kind of had a great life together. Um, but every year we kind of thought, is this the year? So 2007 came, no it didn't happen then, 2008, nothing, 2009, nothing. Along that way we had lots of friends who had children, uh, we, we became uh, godparents to, to five children and we held them and we loved them and we had a great time with them but our hearts were breaking because cause it wasn't our child. But never once in that time did we doubt that that promise was from God and that in his time it would happen. Um, we did explore um, kind of a, um, a fertility treatment, but straight away, we, as soon as we saw a doctor, we thought, no, this isn't right. We explored adoption and we thought, no, this isn't what God promised us. We knew we had to wait and that it would happen in his time. And then over the course of at the end of 2010, so kind of, for into four or five years into our journey, uh, God began to speak quietly and gently to us again, uh, reminding us of his promise, um, giving us kind of little, little seeds and, and, and reminding us that he'd promised us a child and that he knew the child. And then I, I was prayed for at a special Christian event, a, a YFC conference with lots of other uh, youth workers. And um, they shared a story from Abraham, who was in his 80s, a man in the Bible, and he um, they were promised a child and he was 80, 80 or so. Um, and his wife laughed when they heard about that. And um, there's a bit that really struck me. It said uh, in a bit of the Bible that says, against all hope, uh, Abraham in hope believed. And I just, again, that just floored me. Um, and I really thought, God, are you just kind of gearing me up for another five years? Are you reminding all of uh, this stuff to, to kind of keep me going for another five years? And then a trusted youth worker of mine, a great man, um, he prayed with us one evening and he actually shared that him and his wife had, uh, were going through the same thing as us. And he said that after nine years, uh, his wife said, OK, I've just got upset, I'm never going to have children. And five days later, they were pregnant. And he prayed with us one Sunday evening um, at uh, the end of January. And five days later, I was pregnant. Our beautiful son, Nathan, was born uh, 2nd of November 2011, six years uh, after uh, the start of our journey of trying to, to have a child together. And we called him Nathan because it means a gift from God and that is what he is to us. And I just wanted to share that story with you now that God, God just promises things and God keeps his promises.